All right, guys, this is Michael. We're on the Green River here in Kentucky. I'm with Alex Blaze, the witch. We're uh, doing Halloween. It is going to get dark soon, so we're gonna have to hurry. And there might be more rain on the way, so we're trying to go in between two rain events. So wish us some luck. All right, guys, exactly 20 minute down river. Oh. What? About lost the witch. If you saw in the background, there was a blue heron sitting there and it was marking the spot of my trot line. Today, we're gonna run mine first. I got one limb line. I keep forgetting to add my second one. I lost it. So we're gonna check it and then we'll go down and check Daniel's. With Alex Blaze. All right, guys, nothing on my limb line. We're gonna run this trot line really quick, unless there's a bunch of fish on it. Uh, uh, yesterday it hung up real early, so just gotta put your back into it. Yeah, maybe not. So Alex is out of the Evansville area. Yep. She knows all the Evansville crew and uh, she's a lucky lady. She said she was starting her own uh, kind of entertainment. What do you, do you have a name? Or is it just Alex Blaze Entertainment? <laughs> yeah, I'm just performing as Alex Blaze. But to say I am not a lucky lady anymore. Oh. I left that. Definitely oh, okay. not associated with them anymore. And uh, No, I party girl solo dolo now. I gotcha. Have you done anything recently? Or you got anything scheduled? I actually um, am performing this weekend in Effingham, Illinois at a campground music festival. Cool. How do you book something like that? Like, how does one actually book? It's honestly, it's taken me freaking two years to be able to like book things on my own. And you kind of just kind of put yourself out there I and talk you. to people. So somebody contacted you and... Uh... Yeah, someone contacted me, said they needed someone to perform. Gotcha. How would one contact you? Facebook or Instagram. Just the messenger? Yeah. I gotcha. You just DM me to book. And it's fun. We, like, go and uh, have a pole and a lira and then fire. So just a bunch of fun dance stuff. And it looks like there's not a single fish on my line. Nope. Drop, pick it up. That's it. Drop it. All right, Daniel's line's down the way. A 10 mile trip for nothing for me, guys. And it's starting to sprinkle a little bit, so I'm a little worried, so. And also, if we don't catch a fish, I get a bucket of water over my head, so. Today's oh, wow, the that's day. a rule I didn't know. Today's the day, 50% <laughs> done. But this all reminds me of something that happened that I'm going to Tell. I told her I would tell. I was trying to tell it over the motor a while ago, but uh, if you want to get a good look at her outfit, she has the witch's outfit, witch's hat. She's got poison. She even has a uh, foxtail. And which I have is a rat heart. A rat heart. <laughs> <laughs> As customary. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's her style with the uh, foxtail, though, those of you that have been watching since the summer anyway. But yeah, there was a, there was, it's called the witch's child. And it was actually in this area. I don't know if it was a real witch, but they called it the witch's child. And uh, she actually was a woman that lived in the woods and she got pregnant and she didn't know how. She never saw a guy 
you know, and everybody that would ask her, she would, she would say she wasn't pregnant, she was just gaining weight. Well, it kept coming and coming, and then one day the baby was born, and it was a stillborn, and it wasn't a baby. It was like a grotesque looking, you know, it's like no eyes with like bones and horns coming out, you know, like, it's hard to explain, but it's uh, like a some kind of nocturnal being or whatever but she buried it outside under a big tree and we know this because she was writing all this in her journal up until that tree fell over hit the house and killed her and legend has it that the kid was not dead it just didn't have a heartbeat and it had pushed the tree over and we call it the tree pusher so, if you're ever in the woods, let it be a warning to you that if you ever see the roots rise above the tree, that you should flee. Because it only takes one little push for you to get mushed. Okay. <laughs> But many well, times there's something fucking heavy. Well, it must have just been caught on something because whatever it was, it's gone now. Yeah, and uh, Alex, there's a new rule. Uh oh. Any F bombs is a strike. Oh. That's strike one. Okay. <laughs> the, <laughs> messed up of you to not tell me sooner. <laughs> no, I mean it is not my job. You have to read the contract. There is a uh, scroll. I'd... There's a scroll. You said it's new. <laughs> It is new, but it's been here for a month or so. It's all right. I mean, hell, if we don't catch anything, it ain't gonna matter. The only thing that happens on a strikeout is you get wet. And I'm a witch, I can't get wet. She oh, is no. a witch. Has anybody ever walked through the woods and seen like a whole tree knocked over with the roots standing? I don't know why that always catches my eye. So I spent a lot of time in the woods. I feel like I probably have in this heaven. Oh, definitely. Actually, I had one in my front yard when I used to live oh, in. Oh, well, this is just a little guy. All right, use the net. <laughs> use that net. Did you get off? No. <laughs> We're safe. <laughs> Even if we don't catch anything more, by God, we caught a fish, okay? It's a monster. <laughs> And I've I never think, pulled this line so fast before. <laughs> yeah, the rain's coming. I'm kind of urgently telling her. We have a ferry down the way, you might hear it. Here's a little little one. Uh, you can just flip it over flip it over the edge if you can. Hit grab right, grab right above it Shit. though. Oh. Ah, it wasn't F word. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Try to get it in the boat. Like, grab right above it. Yeah, he's not cooperating, is he? Yeah, I think it's hung up right past there, so it's not. Yeah, I need help. <laughs> it's not a it's not cooperating. Oh, I hate this. Yeah. All right, now try it. All right. Oh! All right, another little blue cat. Ow. Again, guys. Me against Daniel, whoever has the least points has to jump in the river on Halloween. Uh, every small fish is five points, and if we weigh a fish and it's 10 pounds or more, it's point for point, pound for pound. So that's 10 points for Daniel. Those of you are supposed to be keeping score in the uh, comments. Oh. I know well, there's something really heavy here. It's either caught on something or... Yeah, it, it's. Uh, I think it's hung, but just make sure we'll drop it and go... All right, just drop it. It was hung yesterday, we couldn't get it out. We're just gonna make sure there's one more, couple hooks on the other side. And I think it's gonna work out. Again, guys, this was a quick trip on the river with a witch. <laughs> I told you the real true story of the, the tree pusher. And like I said, he's just unexplainable, like a grotesque looking, he's kind of got like a, a bone growing over his face and he's got horns coming out of his chin. 
It's very hard to explain. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Get my favorite color on. Green? Yeah, that color green. It's probably nothing on it, but we're gonna make sure. Daniel said, well, that's a break. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, we got the the sun's poking out. I think yeah, we're, we're back to where it got stuck. Go one more. Keep, just keep pulling. Just I think there's one more hook. He said there was two hooks over here. Just, it should be. All right, that's it. Uh, that's it. Just drop it. All right, guys. Long trip down the river, but I think we got perfect timing. guys that's a long trip back she pulled out her fire I was a little bit too scared to go in the dark dark but we'll see if I can pull it off but I do appreciate you coming this is your second video this year she was here with another uh, foxtail just a couple months ago she uh, is someone that I met last year and she's always welcome yeah I like I love doing these videos Alex Blaze the witch today. <laughs> All right, just grab that, make sure there's nothing on it, and then I will end this thing in the dark. Yep, nope. Do you want me to throw it back in here? Just throw it in, yeah. All right, guys, this is Michael with Alex Blaze. She says if you have an event that you would hire a, what, you dance, you do fire dance. Yeah, like, uh, Man, bachelorette parties, birthday parties, music festivals, rallies, yeah, anything. Bands. I'll come perform at it. Message her <laughs> on uh, Instagram or Facebook. Uh, links below. This is Michael with Alex Blaze. Uh, stay tuned for more episodes, guys. We'll see you next time.